Hello Toby, it's David Gould over at Sloan Toyota Philadelphia. Just thought maybe a video would be a little bit more uh, helpful for getting a better idea of this car. I know you're not that far from here for stopping by. We use this a lot when we have people that are out of state and they're looking for a, uh, a car at a distance. They want a better idea of what's going on. Uh, the car itself is sharp, the body's sharp. There's some light cosmetic things that I sent you the last group or email and I'll go over them here real quick with you. But overall, this is the XLE model premium. The premium gives you that uh, DVD. It's actually a split DVD for the back, back seat area there. Uh, some upgrades on the interior. You can uh, see also that this one is the all wheel drive that you asked for. And you were asking about the color. This is the, uh, what's called pre-dawn gray. That was the color that you gave me. And uh, what made me think of you when I heard, as soon as I saw it got traded in uh, this last weekend. So this car literally, um, mechanically it's finished. Tires are brand new. They've done the certification on it. Cosmetically, they will send it back in to do these little things. Um, it will raise the price. It is a possibility you and John might want to just take it the way it is. Or if you want it done, you know, you can kind of figure it out, whatever works for you guys. Bottom line right now is we got about a 36,000 mile vehicle that's in super nice shape. Uh, we're talking uh, stock number here and your certification notice over there and with the toyota certification I, so I did it on my own car certification it gives you an awful lot of guarantees 160 point check that they go over with you the one year 12,000 miles whichever comes first bumper to bumper similar to the three year 36 you got with your brand new car when you got it uh, the free oil change and maintenance for the first year also included with our uh, store here um, and with certification that's good at any store if you want to bring it up to the other guy up there you can do that um, the interior you can see is very clean very nice it is uh, leather on the inside here and these seats are heated uh, front front seats are heated with the all-wheel drive you get a seven passenger vehicle okay so that center seat right there which I don't think is that important if you're still taking the dogs uh, but you know it's just the idea of the center seats not gonna be there because the drive shaft is still going through the floor Siennas in the future are going to get rid of that drive shaft, but for right now, this is the one in the setup that will have it. Up on top here, you can see we have the sunroof, and then over here, that's the DVD player that comes with the premium package. Uh, you've got the same as you had before with the sliding power doors, and then we can see up in the handles for coming in and out. There's a little button switch here up on top, drops it down. And then you can get a single widescreen or you can split that into two sides uh, if you decide you have two different videos going at the same time. There's headphones somewhere in the back here, I suspect. I'll try to check to make sure that they are with the car. Um, I shouldn't jump ahead of myself with that because there's no guarantee that they're stuck with the car at this point. Um, sunroof up on top there you can see as well. Uh, let's see, seven years, 100,000 miles from the point at which you pick up the car. So the seven year, not from the beginning of when the car was bought, that's the old certification program. The new certification program goes from the day you buy the car. So seven years, 100,000 mile powertrain. And uh, you know what, I'll tell you right now, with the all wheel drive system, I think I would want that. No, there's no doubt I would go with it. And the uh, cost is not that much more significant when you look at the overall what comes with the car. Uh, roof rack with cross rails up at the top up there, all good stuff, things that you can use. Uh, looks like the tires were replaced brand new. These are the uh, drive flat tires, which are, uh, they're not cheap, okay? Drive flat tires because you do not have a place for a spare tire with this car because the drive shaft for that all wheel drive goes right through where you have the, uh, this is the same back here, um, where the uh, spare tire would go. Now, here's what I mean by cosmetic, okay? And you know, there's no reason to play games with you guys. I jumped this car ahead of everybody else for you being able to see it. So this kind of stuff here, it's not dented. It's just like, you know, through the, it is through the paint though. It's scratch through the paint. So they can lightly, they're gonna lightly go over that. That would be sprayed in this case here, on the side right here. And by the way, that just is depending on you guys saying, yes, you want the work to be done. And then whatever the bill is, the bill is, they're gonna hit it. That's in the back. It looks like somebody would just blanked up against something. And then right on the corner over on this side, looks like they had their issues with the door. But again, it's all flat cosmetic, okay? It's nothing uh, into the body of the car when you talk about overall. The finish of it is in, I think, really good shape. The interior doesn't smell. Um, and, you know, with the leather, it's going to last a long time. Um, let's see. Let's take a quick walk around the front here. Everything else look okay. A couple little, uh, couple little things look like they might have skipped up off the road and caught the car. Not unusual at all for 36,000 miles. Ah, uh, see, up on the inside here, your dashboard, there's your 36. 
And, uh, you know, I believe you had the same layout, pretty close to the same layout in your prior Sienna there, right? Uh, just we're going to have a few more buttons with the XLE up inside here. That's going to be your vents for the back. Instead of manually opening the back uh, windows all the way back in the corner back there, all right, you're going to be able to electronically do it. You pull the switch and it's going to open up and vent the back. Again, not bad for the dogs. Um, track your control off if you get in bad weather. You need to be able to have those wheels spin, deliberately spin to be able to walk it back and forward. That's how you get out. This turns your uh, parking sonar when you're backing up. You don't want the beeping, you can turn it off. And the blind spot monitors, that's going to be right there. Kind of hard to see, but those little cars right there are going to light up orange. You saw them for a second and they came in having a hard time focusing. Right there. Those little cars will turn orange if you have a car alongside of you. And if you're in a city, maybe you'd turn it off if it was bothering you with the light flashing too much. Um, automatic windows all around. Power controls for all that. Automatic dimming mirror. Up on top here, all your controls for the back and your uh, sunroof. Um, coming across, heated seats. Setting right in there, your uh, USB and your auxiliary plugins there. Down below there, there's your Blu-ray player. That's for the um, DVD, okay? You put it in right down there and it's going to be able to play your DVDs and go from there. And then um, down below one more time, I think we have some more USBs down below inside there. It looks like there's plugs. Um, you know what? It looks like, uh, let's see if we can get a little closer with this light. Yep, that one's going to be... That one might be a chip for the, uh, for the player. Nope, that's where the chip for the player goes, right there. Sorry gang, I can't turn it. It looks like it's going to be a HDMI cable, possibly, for the input. And then there's power down there, 12 volt power for bringing it through. I think there's more... Yeah, there you are. There's more controls back here for that too. That's going to be like a, um, you know, a plug style right here for being able to uh, get your plug in for your unit. And again, I, whether you're going to use this or not, somebody that was gaming while their while their parents were driving might be using that right there. And then you got the large area down inside there. So there's a ton of stuff inside the car. Interior, the headliner, and everything is in good shape. I don't see anything too much inside here you have to worry with. Uh, so the outside scuffs are really the only uh, cosmetic thing to point out on the car, I think. Um, maybe you'll find something when you get here that's going to be a little bit more fine-tuned, but I'm not seeing it at the minute. Um, I hope this is helpful, okay? So again, this is David Gould. Uh, at this moment, Sloan Toyota Philadelphia. Previously, Team Langhorn, and I do appreciate all your guys' business from there from the past. And you can see here that you're running with your power lift gate in the back here. Power lift gate with the automatic uh, stoppers on here on the in between so that you don't get caught. There you go. And again, the inside, your storage down below, original mats. Even the mats themselves are really clean, they're not that dirty. Um, I'm not seeing, I'll tell you what I'm not seeing right now. I'm not seeing the um, the headphones for the uh, DVD player. So let's just make sure that we talk about those and make sure that we do the... Uh, don't, you don't have to mention that I mentioned them, but those are, uh, those are the primary way that if you're watching two separate videos at the same time, that's how they're not overlapping with sound. Up on the inside. Uh-oh, here we go. We got something in here. Aha! one of them All right, we're moving in the right direction okay it looks like we got one of them it looks like we got a uh, Looney Tunes DVD there that's your wheel lock and all kinds of good stuff in here that's your controller for the DVD so that's all right so if uh, and there's your other headphone set cool they're still in the packaging how about that huh doesn't even look like they've been used that's pretty cool all right so uh, look at that we search we will find um once again this is uh looks like your key down below there certified cars do come with two keys push button start this is david gold over at sloan toyota philadelphia with the 2017 toyota sienna xle premium thanks toby john take care hope to talk to you soon